Welcome into another Teacher Tutorial Tuesday. I'm Coach Suho with Greater Richmond Fit for Kids here to talk to you about adding movements to your presentations. So why does it matter anyways? Adding movement is a way to engage your students in the content that you have. Sometimes the movement that we add can relate direct, directly to what we're teaching, and sometimes we add it in there just to get them woken up and have their brains firing on all cylinders. A quick overview of this uh, is simply we're going to add some slides to your already made presentations where you just have the kids do movements. It's like an exercise slide where they get to pick between two different movements. And I'm going to show you how to do this simply. Um, but before you do it, you need to find some graphics that you can use. So I'm going to show you how to find some free graphics, how to download them, and how to add them to your presentations. And of course, Nora has a little nugget at the end of the video for you as well. As always, comment below with what you'd like to see on the next Teacher Tutorial Tuesday video. I'm happy to make something just for you. First, let's take a look at where we can find some free graphics for you to use. If you go into any of our tutorial videos or any of our wellness integration videos, those are the purple ones, you can find in our description some links. In our tutorial videos, you can check the timestamps to jump to certain parts of the video. That's just a side note. I wanted you to know that. Um, these links down here are the ones that I want to bring your attention to. This one is get your free common exercise poster. It's a great printable that you can put in your house if you want to do some exercises as soon as you wake up. You can put it in your classroom whenever they let us back in. Um, and then down here is the first link that I want to talk about. It says, use our free movement gifts in your activities. When you click on that, it'll bring you to a Google Drive folder with all of these different gifts or GIFs, however you want to pronounce them. These are great, especially because it shows you how to do the movements. So if you look at the arm circles one, it'll repeat this motion over and over again so that students don't have to question how to do it because they can look at the example on the screen. So you can download these. You can add these to your drive, however you want to do it. The other link says use our free movement graphics in your activities. If you were to click on that one, it'll bring you to this one, which has more of a stick figure type look to it. These are great for boom cards since they don't accommodate GIFs as of um, recording this video. So you got a couple options. You can, again, click on the ones you want and download them. You can highlight all of them and download them. It's your choice. They're free for you to use. Um, we just love for you to share if you have an activity that you've used them with so that we can see what great stuff you're doing. So say you want to use a couple of graphics, you want arm circles, you can hold the control key and then click the ones that you want. You might want basketball shots, maybe you want the ceiling stretch and hops. So I just have those four. Again, if I hold control and click on them, it'll just select those four. And then I right click and click on download and it'll download it to my downloads folder. If you want all of them, you can use the trick where you click on one and then you scroll all the way down, hold shift and click on the last one and it will highlight all of them. Again, you can right click and click on download and it'll put it in your downloads folder. It's the same idea for the movement gifts. These are a bit bigger files, so it'll take a little bit longer to download though. Now that you've downloaded things to your computer or you've added them to your drive, we can go ahead and insert them into a presentation. And it's really up to you how often you want to insert movement into your activities. This uh, particular one that I got is from my sister-in-law. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. It's great to see the awesome stuff that you're doing with your class. Um, she has here a section with some vocabulary words. Now, it looks like there are five vocabulary words that she has. So you could do every two slides, you could do every one. Um, I would do something like this where I add in a slide and I would say, pick one and do 10 before moving on. Now, of course, if you're using this in the class, you can see if they're doing their 10 exercises. If they're doing it remotely, then you just have to take their word for it. So on this slide, that means I'm going to have multiple exercises. I like to give them choices because who doesn't like a little choice in their exercises? So let's do arm circles. There we go. Let's go to insert image. 
Again, I downloaded them, so we'll upload them from here. Scissor kicks, one of my favorites. And then we just split them apart, line them up. So either they can do 10 arm circles or they can do 10 scissor kicks. Or who knows, maybe they'll do 10 of each before they move on. Now, if I want to make this a little quicker, I can copy this slide and paste it after this one. And again, could be the same exercises or I could switch it out, um, right click on it, go to replace image, upload from computer. Now, most of these are the same size. So what that means is um, my scissor kicks one is the same dimensions as basketball shots. So if I replace it, it shouldn't distort anything, should drop right in there perfectly. So let's go ahead, or you can click up here after you click on the image, I'm gonna replace the arm circles. Let's go ahead and replace that with lunges because that's a similar sized one as well. There we go. And copy and paste and switch these out or keep them the same, it's your choice. Um, you can even find out what your students like best and go from there. Of course, if you wanted to add in your animated movement graphics, it's the same idea. You would just um, replace that image and you'd have to navigate to where your pictures are saved. In my case, it is in this exercise GIF folder. Now, because the files are larger, it'll take a little bit longer for it to upload, but then it'll drop right in and should work out flawlessly. And you might notice that it's a little herky-jerky right now, and the reason being is because um, there's a lot of processing power happening. <laughs> there's a lot of things going on at once. Now, when you do this um, in your actual uh, activities, it won't be it won't have this kind of jerky feel to it. It should run smoothly. And of course, you can preview that to make sure that's the case. Um, that concludes how to add some stuff in. Uh, all we have left is our Nora Nugget. So take it away, Nora. Whee! Hey, y'all. Don't think your kids are going to do the movements? They're more likely to do them if they see you doing them too. So get out there and get moving. Awesome. Thanks for watching the video. Of course, feel free to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next Tuesday with another Teacher Tutorial Tuesday video. Take care.